What's you guys got another video how to back up photos from your android phone to a usb flash drive that's what we're going to be doing in this video now we all know that phones have cloud storage where you can back up all of your photos to there but what if you don't want your photos going to google photos or any sort of cloud storage you can use a usb flash drive to back all of your precious photos up to now you can also do this to a nas drive which i'll make another video but this one is about backing up to your USB flash drive. You can use this OTG adapter if you have a USB flash drive and you want to plug it into that. You can also buy SanDisk 128 gigabyte ultra dual drive, which is going to allow you to plug this into your uh, actual phone and back up all of your videos and photos to that. And I'll show you how to do it in this video. So we're going to be using one of these uh, USB flash drives that has a dual connector on it which is a type c and also a type a which is this one right here this is the one we're going to be using and this will plug straight into your phone and this is going to allow us to be able to back up all of our images uh, to this device so very quick and easy to do and i'll show you how to do this step by step now before we plug this in to back up our data i just want to have a quick word from today's video sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for a cheap windows 10 pro or a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Once you've uh, created an account on CD Key Sales, you can use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount uh, during December. So once you've done this, you can submit your order and you can use PayPal to pay for your purchase. They will then send you your key and you will then be able to activate your version of Windows, just like you see right here. Very simple and quick and easy to do and remove that annoying watermark. Okay, so I've plugged in my USB flash drive here into the actual phone. Now your phone can be a different model of phone. This is a Google Pixel and basically it will work as long as you've got that Type-C connector on your phone, you can plug it straight in. Most phones have a Type-C connector now, but if your phone has a different type of connection, then you will need a different type of adapter. So we're going to go into settings here and then go into images and this is where all your images will be stored and as you can see here these images we've got it selected to all right now but you can see screenshots images whatsapp all your downloaded images and things like that so go up to the three dots here and we're going to select all for all of the images on here once you've got the little blue check marks into all of the images we can then move on to the next stage which is basically copying all of these to our USB flash drive. So let's get, hit the three dots again and go to copy to and select that. Down the bottom, you should now see internal storage and also your USB flash drive. So we're gonna click on the USB flash drive. We can now create a new folder inside of our USB flash drive. Give that folder a name, something recognizable that you would know. So for instance, I'm gonna call it photo. You can call it whatever you like. Uh, but whatever you're doing on yours, just create your own folder and then copy to that particular type of folder. And it's now going to go over and start copying all of your photos to that folder on your USB flash drive. You can see the little blue bar slowly copying all of the photos over to our USB device. And again, there's 854 files to be copied over and these files are going to be our photos. So depending on how large and how many photos you have will determine how long this takes. There's 1.58 gigabytes of files, as you can see, selected at the very top there, 854 selected. And that's going to take a bit of time. So be patient and let that copy over. Now, of course, if you're using videos and you're copying videos over, this will take a fair bit of time because obviously some of them videos could be 4K and they could be quite large. So it just depends on the size of the data and how much data you have will to determine how long this is going to take. So now we've completed that, you can also copy over all of your WhatsApp images. You can go over to WhatsApp and copy these over and you can also select the camera and some other images if you don't want to copy all of the images over. So you just go through the same process, three dots, select all on your WhatsApp images and then you can click the three dots again, copy to, and then choose your USB flash drive, and then add your folder and give the folder a name. Let's call it, say, WhatsApp. 
and this will then copy all of those WhatsApp images over to our WhatsApp folder. That's if you want to copy all the WhatsApp images, just like so, and there's 428 of those, and just allow that to copy over. That's only 359 megabytes, so that shouldn't take too long. But that's basically how you can copy all of your images on your phone to a USB flash drive. We can then remove the USB flash drive and we can then plug this into our computer and in view the actual images. So let's go ahead and plug this into the PC and we can take a look. So now we're at the PC, I'm going to go to this PC. There's the backup USB flash drive that I've got, 128 gigabytes. And there is the two folders, photo and WhatsApp. Inside there, you should see all of the images that have been copied over. There they are right there. And again, you can go through and organize these. There is no names to these. These are just called uh, an image, dash, and a number. This is what uh, the actual uh, phone does to your images. But you can rename these with some sort of renaming software if you wish, and then rename them to something more recognizable uh, if you want to do that. Anyway, that is going to be about it. That is how you can transfer images from your phone to your USB flash drive and then put them on your PC. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.